Hello there guys and welcome back to another video. I'm uh, down on the beach, just in the shade below the uh, cliff here. But I'm in Essex and um, I've walked from Wharton on the Nays and uh, this is the Nays which is basically like a headland. Um, so yeah we've got a peninsula to walk down here, get right out of the way and um, find a nice spot, nice and remote. Um, further back you've seen um, the tower I walked past, an 18th century tower which was for guiding boats because you've got a bit of an estuary here and uh, some pillboxes from the war as well. The whole stretch here really reminds me of the Isle of Sheppey if you remember that camp on the cliff. It's that same kind of London clay which is horrible to get on you but um, has a, a lot of um, fossils inside it. You've got shark's teeth, things like that. Um, but I'm not here to do that today. <laughs> I got here a little late and it's uh, just a chilled one. So I'll get on my way. I think I'm about halfway down and uh, yeah, I don't think I'll be seeing any people past this point. Well, tonight it sounds like I'll have the uh, relaxing sounds of Felix Stowe Port over there. I would expect they'll be going on all night. Probably can't hear it on the camera, it's just like a, a bassy noise from the um, cargo ships and stuff. Feels like I've been walking quite a long way. Been walking into the sun as well, so it's really making me sweat. And it's well into September now. It's this kind of little hot spell we've suddenly had just as it was getting cooler, which is why it was so busy right down in uh, Walton on the Nays. But um, up here, there's there's no one on at all. We're not quite at the top of the headland. I'm thinking I might hang around this area. There's. Um, tree line, shrub line over there, which is kind of a nice kind of barrier between <laughs> civilization and out here. There is some uh, sand fleas about, doesn't seem to be any up here so yeah. Um, one problem, I <laughs> haven't used the tent I've bringing today for a, about a year, it's the Hex Peak and uh, I didn't bring the trekking pole, it's not the first time. Um, I found a piece of uh, driftwood that kind of snapped off like a tree and it looks about the right height if not I can kind of dig it in the sand but because um, I kind of grabbed my kit and kind of ran out of the house I also didn't double check to see if the uh, pegs were in the bag as well it wouldn't be me if I uh, didn't forget something so out here there's not so much driftwood as there was back there um, so if I haven't got pegs, I may spend some time looking around for some. <laughs> I've found this spot behind me here. It'd be hard to see, but there's a bit of an inlet there. And when the tide comes up, I'm going to feel quite isolated. I think I quite like that. That's up to the top of the headland and then back this way is the way I've come and you may see the uh, tower at Walton on the Nays up there. But yeah I'm happy with this spot. I think I've got about an hour and a half till uh, sundown so just to get it kind of sorted and uh, see if I've got some uh, tent pegs. <laughs> Can confirm. Well, it's up. <laughs> It's not perfect but I'll fettle with it throughout the evening. I don't usually use the inner so I'm not that used to actually putting it up. Plus I've got this uh, random length pole. But yeah, I think I need to uh, tie it out a little further and just um, stretch out these for the uh, inner. But it's up, that's not too bad. I could do with some proper sand anchors to be honest. 
and uh, I think it's time for a, a drink of water and a chill. I finally got myself a new chair. My last one had a bent leg for a very long time. Kept straightening it in the vice, but it's never the same. Um, this one's got one of these stretcher things on the bottom so it doesn't sink. It's also got these which go on the feet to stop it sinking as well. So you've got a couple of different options there. Um, plus it's a bit less brightly colored <laughs> than the other one was. Uh, wasn't expensive. I didn't want to get a really expensive one. I'll, um, I'll link it below if it's still on there. You know what Amazon's like, they come and go. I uh, don't think it's really got a brand, but it will certainly do me ah, for this evening. The beauty of this spot being a headland is I've got the sun setting over here and it will rise over on this side, which is beautiful, unlike on the uh, south coast. But um, I know about this spot because of uh, Tom, as in Tom Outdoors. He uh, comes here for a relaxing camp now and again. And uh, I thought it looked good, nice and easy. So here I am, after a busy summer, a little unwind. A few bits of driftwood for the firebox later. While well, I've been looking for driftwood, I was just finding a hell of a lot of shells. I mean, you got loads and loads of uh, crabs, uh, oysters, a lot of oysters about, mussels, more crab, all of these, <laughs> and uh, finding quite a lot of vertebrae and things as well. I don't know what that's from, maybe a fox or something. Well, that was a beautiful sunset. What a lovely spot. Gonna sit here and enjoy this beer. Wait for it to get a bit darker. Get my bush box started. Get some food on. Gonna be using my bush box today.
as well as the uh, wood I've collected I've got a few bits from uh, home it's a Rubinia that I sometimes use so it's a nice hardwood to start it off I've just got a hexi block quick and easy I'm going to do a very similar meal to I did by the lake. So I'm going to put some pasta on first. I'm using my Trancher mini set. So I can use the top as a bit of a lid. With our pasta at that kind of al dente stage, I'm going to take it off carefully because it's heavy. Leave it in the water just to keep hot. I put on my pan. Add some oil. And I have a bit of beef mince here. Ooh was frozen but it's defrosted while I've walked in and uh, been setting up. And we'll just get that browned off, mix it in with a pasta and some sauce. That's well, looking pretty good. You may see the sand fleas popping around. I think they can smell good food. <laughs> so I'm going to bring back my pasta, which I've taken most of the water out of. I'm going to add in beef mince. It's going to go back up here. And I've got a Nalgene bottle full of a tomato sauce. So we'll just warm that all through with everything else. And just to finish this off before I completely get overrun by these sand fleas, I'm just going to cut in with the open all a few pieces of mini baby bell. Which I think is a great way of getting cheese to camp because it's got its own packaging, it's individually portioned. And we'll just stir that in. I can see these things hopping about all over the place. They weren't up at this part earlier. I don't know if it's the light or the smell or what. They're freaking everywhere now.
I've retreated to my tent inner. Uh, probably won't come out on the microphone, but you can hear the uh, sand fleas banging against the inner underneath <laughs> into the sides. They really overrun because the tides come in. They've all moved up the beach. I didn't really account for that. So they are everywhere and over everything. <laughs> it's not that pleasant. I'm so glad I brought the inner because as most of you know I don't usually use one <laughs> but uh, I did foresee there could be sand fleas. No bites as yet. Good morning. Hope I managed to capture that sunrise the way I saw it, because it was pretty wonderful. Got a sunrise and a sunset, which is uh, pretty spoiled. <laughs> I slept last night, uh, not all the way through, but I did get sleep. Um, as soon as the tide started to go out, the, uh, the sand fleas retreated back down. I guess they go down to feed on the newly laid kind of silt and stuff. Um, had my egg sandwich, which was very nice, nice and simple as I grabbed it on the way out. Um, going to get squared away now and uh, get going. It's a bit of a walk back to civilization. Here we go, I'm all squared away, packed up, rubbish is with me, completely leave no trace. I've scattered even the rocks that I used on the pegs. So if you're thinking of wild camping, this is how you should leave it as you found it, except for a few footprints. Time for me to get hiking. Thank you very much for watching. I'll uh, be back in the woods next week, finishing the shelter, the uh, wood store. 
and uh, I'll see you then. Goodbye for now.